Hello everyone, I found a very exciting um, location here. I'm here in the quarry, Dunwich Borers, Bowers Borers. And uh, here we have a hidden bobblehead. It's the sneak bobblehead and we have the Krems tooth, whatever it's called. It's a melee weapon that does 58 damage and it's in a very, very creepy area. So I was here, I had to assassinate someone and I went through that door, downstairs. And I killed a lot of people, I really had fun. Well, <laughs> not in real life, don't get me wrong. And, and it, it really looked quite normal. At first I was excited that there would be another vault down here. But then it really got very creepy. It's, going right up my nose. it's still all right here. That's where the bad guys were. It's all emptied out now. I didn't want to sh tell. Um, I didn't want to sh show you all the shooting. So you turn on all the circuits so you get light. That's a nice feature. And then of course you're looking for loot like I did. My companion is a bit scared. Well, I was as well at some stage. And then we go down. There's nothing up there, just a cooking station. And now we go down. We're still quite all right down here, station number two. We have to go to station number three, because here in the communications, in the urgent message, it says you need an immediately down at station four. And I was wondering, hmm, interesting, what weird station four incident was there? And the, the reason I'm showing you all the thing here is that does show you the path in case you want to go. So you're not missing the path because it's quite confusing. So after station two, you go past station two, past that creepy digger. Don't forget to loot. Past the digger. Follow the light, turn on the circuits when you see some, and we're, st we're at station three. Station three shows the same message, you're urgently needed. It's station four. Okay, we'll explain when you get there. Great. The rest is pretty same-ish, normal messages. Yeah, they're complaining about them slowing down, and we're going downwards to station four. So now down the stairs. Down He's scared, I'm scared. So those are the remnants of the other guys who were still there. That, that was my assassination target actually. <laughs> And here we are on the ground level. And here is something to loot as well. There's a magazine on the table and some ammo. Bingo. And now we can go through the door and then the creep starts. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm showing you the footage of the first time I went through. So you get all the creep and, and, and you'll see actually where I picked up the bobblehead. So now this is real real footage when I came here first time. I don't see a thing so uh, I turned on the flashlight. Uh, 
And it's actually quite handy when it's glowing, you know that that's a feral ghoul that's standing up. Something happens. I'm crap at shooting. Don't complain. I'm crap at shooting. I, I'm, I'm not a pro shooter gamer. Here, yeah, <laughs> I do this for puzzles and walkthroughs and all that stuff. So here. And now it's all dark and creepy. So I turn on my flashlight, my pip light. Oh no! 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 happens. Okay. So there's a dark horrible area and there's a there's a door right behind me and when you go through there's your first flash back into the past and I really don't know why I'm getting those. Here. That's actually in the past. I still see my companion but this is in the past. So I go up, flash, real time, that's it. There's another one further ahead. So lots of ghouls again. Quickly getting rid of those. So circuit breaker, turn on the lights. At least see the ghouls coming. <laughs> And right ahead, there's station number four, so it's not far. Yeah, I know, I should have shot the legs. I know, I'm gonna throw the grenade in a bit. That's it. Really, really creepy. Really, really creepy. So, turn on the light. So, station four is right ahead, and on the table there is the sneak bobblehead. So now we go for the bubble head. Dunwich borers in the in the heart, in the creep of the heart, in the heart of the creep. And here is the bubble head. Sneak bubble head! Yay! Permanently 10% harder to harder to detect. That's really good. I'm a sneaker. I like sneaking. And this on the terminal, which you just have standard stuff. It's nothing important. I just go through quickly. I always do that in case I'm missing something. If it's something important, I get a marker on the map anyways. So Tim Shoots says there's something going on, he's hiding something, and this is, was starting to intrigue me a bit. 
And then I see that hole in the wall. And I thought, ooh, maybe a vault. Please let it be a vault. I like vaults. And then a flashback. It's all lit and it looks like some cult. Right? But then we have Bradley R Ramon, whoever that is. <laughs> I presume I presume they were cursed. They are cursed and then they are have had to stay in there. All the bombs struck and then they turned all into ghouls. Here's Tim Shoots, look Tim Shoots. John Hatfield. So they met at station four and then something terribly happened. Something went terribly wrong. And all that all those people, all the group, turned into ghouls. So now shooting Mr. Shoots. Relieving him from being a ghoul. A bad ghoul. Yeah. They're nice ghouls. I don't mind those. Now would be good. So Mr. Shoot has another tape on him. We're gonna listen to that tape now. and have asked the other project managers to meet you at Station 4. Stall them if they arrive before we get there. They haven't been told anything. We are very close to accomplishing our goal. Please be patient. You will be rewarded in time. Tim shoots here. He never got his Just reward, so I'm going to play Tim's message again as a... Station 4 are still under the impression that we are setting up the new station beyond this area. To honor him. <laughs> standing crew you hired are convincing enough. However, do worry about the project manager. Bob at station one. We all know he takes the job very seriously. So there's a pool here, and we saw that in the flashback there was some sort of altar, some sort of person standing there praying, preaching to the people. So I thought, hmm, let's have a drink. <laughs> Just for fun. And a dive. So I'm gonna dive down there. And there's a hole in the wall. Here's the skeleton. And here we have the altar. And on the altar, we have a knife. A splendid knife. Kremf's tooth. 58 damage and bleed. So if you're a me melee fighter, this is just a great weapon to have. So I wonder why well, I assume those people were searching for this. And they were cursed. Right? Whatever. So we have a nice weapon now. We have Krem's Tooth. And here are the stats. And I'm gonna leave it to this and... Good luck hunting that weapon down. <laughs> and I say bye!